Hey guys, Joshua here from Gander Flight. Today we're talking about instant disposals. Two reasons why your garbage disposal might not be working. All right, reason number one is the disposals usually have a fuse on them. And if you open it up and you look underneath, you can see that there's a little red button. You go ahead and press that button and it will reset the fuse in the electric motor for whatever reason, if it was overloaded or there's a power surge, however that fuse could have gotten tripped, maybe it tripped out, and all you gotta do is press that reset button and reset the electric motor inside the disposal. So the second thing that could be going on is if you just came back from vacation or haven't used your sink in a couple days, oftentimes the dirty water, the food slurry, anything that goes down the drain that goes through the disposal, you know, the, the walls get slimy, they get coated. And if you let that dry out, oftentimes it can provide enough tension to bind up the electric motor and there's not enough torque to break it loose. Um, I've had this happen, we came home from a vacation, a two week vacation, the sink had totally dried out, turned the disposal on and you could hear it, you could hear the electric motor turning on, but nothing was spinning. Now, my disposal is currently working, but it sounds similar to this. So you can hear the electric motor turning. There's a high-pitched whine of that electricity trying to turn that motor. There's just not enough torque to turn the motor over. I want to show you how to fix that. So the first thing you need to do is unplug the disposal from the wall. You don't want any power running to this the whole time you're doing this activity. And then what you're going to need to do is grab a drill. Take your drill bit out of your drill. And if you look at the bottom, very in the very center of the disposal, you'll notice that it's the same shape as the bits you put in your drill. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that drill bit, stick it up into that spindle. Remember, the power's off. There's no electricity to the garbage disposal at this point. Put your quarter inch wrench on there, and then stick this up into that shaft and turn it back and forth. You're gonna use leverage to manually break those blades loose inside the housing. Then once you take that out, plug it back in, turn it on, and hopefully it should break enough of the slime in there that's hardened up to get your disposal back up and running. So in all reality, you really shouldn't be putting any food down your drain. It's not good for the pipes, it's not good for septic systems, it's not good for the waste management. Uh, and something that we found that helps really well to keep fruit out of the drains is just these stainless steel cups. They're universal and I uh, got these off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. They're super awesome in keeping the food out and then we just dump that into the compost with the garbage after we're done doing the dishes. And these little grates are a lifesaver. You ever fill up the sink and uh, a pot or a plate gets stuck over the drain and then it starts filling up with dirty water? Well these things keep everything off the bottom of the sink and all of the water can run below the dishes. They're fantastic. We've had them, uh, this specific set, in two different houses, and they're great. I would highly recommend those. They absolutely changed the way, the, the dishwashing experience for us. So if you found some value in this video and it saved you a uh, call to the plumber, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel and uh, share this with another homeowner, someone else who goes out on vacation, you know, we all do, and uh, Save them a trip to have the plumber come out as well. Until next time, I'm Joshua and you've been watching Get In Flight. Take care and pay it forward.